Buffalo. Uh, you guys are finally ready for me to catch you? Oh, well, it's been long enough. I know, I know, I've been sitting and relaxing. I haven't been out. I got my stuff packed in the car. I'm ready to go out. Now, you guys are saying you're down, what, about 10 feet deep in the water or what? I'm not on the schedule yet. I got to get back on the schedule. I know my buddy Powerbait Paul, he's, I know he's slaying fish already, left and right. You know, he's actually engaged. Yeah, three months. All right, well, I'm gonna go down there and I'll see uh, if I can catch some of you guys, okay? What's going on, guys? It has been a while. It's been, it's been way too long. Um, a lot's been going on. Life, what can I just say? Life is, uh, never stopping time's never stopping um but i thought you know what it's time to get back on to the channel but it's something that i enjoy doing um something that i enjoy making so i said you know what get back in the groove try to try to start something we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what we can do big change that actually has happened since the last time i've been on the channel it's a new car a new car it was uh time for change I want to thank my parents, my wonderful parents, for um, allowing me to drive the Honda CRV 2006, aka Deer Slayer 5000, named by my good friend Sam, um, because I had hit about maybe three, four, maybe five deer um, with that car. But uh, enough of that talk. We are talking fishing now, okay? I will admit that I've been procrastinating a little bit with fishing. Uh, it's a little bit aggravating when you don't have a lot of time to get out there, a lot of time to fish, but the time that you do get out there, you don't really get anything. And um, I was uh, just talking to my good old friend Paul, Power Bay Paul, the bass sniffer, the bass king, the bass slayer of South Jersey and soon to be of the US. As much as I'm not able to get out and fish as he is but uh, recently I just go out when I have gone out and not really had anything no uh, no bites and it's I will admit it's nice it's not fun we are in South Jersey as usual and uh, I think we're gonna be hitting up some of the regular good old-fashioned original places here we are though we're at one of our famous spots and we're gonna see we're gonna have any luck I don't know I'm gonna catch a fish sometime I am I, I promise Feels good to be back out, I will admit. I don't have any of my GoPro equipment, so I'm improvising. I'm using literally uh, part of the guardrail. Just gonna do some casts out here. The spot that I'm fishing at right now, I won't say it, but uh, Paul's very familiar with this spot. All right, I actually just caught one. Was not able to get a video of me catching. First fish of 2023. That is a chain pickerel. Let's get him undone here. All right, you got this pickerel right here. You don't really want to touch him because he could get hooked, especially when they thrash. They like to thrash their mouth, their, their head. Get a pair of pliers, you can get them from Lowe's, you can get them from, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods. See, see what I mean? They like to thra thrash. And you want to just work that hook out. Now, you're not gonna really hurt them I mean, I'm out of fish, so I don't know how they feel. I did took, take a little bit of uh, meat from his lip there. And I do apologize for that, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, this guy is pretty small, pretty, uh, pretty young guy. He's still got a lot of growing up to do, but... First fish of 2023. Smaller than I would have liked, but it's something, right? So this guy is a jerk bait, okay? And in the water, they make kind of these cut moves. And it's all about how you use your, your rod too to make the uh, the lure work in the water. But um, basically, it just looks like it's slashing in the water. So that's what we're throwing now. I 
I got something on. Doesn't feel too heavy. Doesn't feel strong. It's not really pulling at all. Probably just a small pickerel. Yep. Uh, another pickerel. Well, hey buddy. Yeah, not really thrilled to see you. Second pickerel of the year. I was hoping it was a bass, but I didn't really expect it to uh, to be. Another one. Got another one. Good grief, man. Chill, chill, chill. You wanna swim around some? Turn it out yet? All right, I gotta get you off. Nope, we got another one, guys. Another one's coming in. Feels a little bit bigger, but these guys do like to pool, so I don't know if it's uh, just an ornery one. I'm trying to wear them out a little bit. It's a little bigger. Not much, but a little bigger for this one. I'm going to use the grippers. All right, dude. Chill out, chill out, chill out. I know. Grip right through the nose, man. All right, where are the pliers? There they are. Handy dandy pliers. All right guys, another one right there. Looking healthy. Give him uh, some more years and he'll be good to go. And I feel like this year is gonna be, it's gonna be almost like a redemption year for me for fishing. I think I'm gonna be able to get back into it. And as long as I can make some time, more time than, than usual then I'll have a chance. But I, I walked away from fishing for a little bit because I I was aggravated a little bit. Um, not with anybody, not with Paul, not with, um, with anybody, but just the fact that, you know, I realize that I don't have the amount of time right now to be out here and do this on a daily basis. It's not really about always catching something either. There's a lot you can learn just by casting. Sure, I'd like to catch a fish right now. I'd love to catch a fish. But during this time that I'm just casting, I can work on my casts, um, work on maneuvering the lure in the water. Believe me, I'm the professional fisherman, but it's more than just catching fish. So to anybody out there, who does get aggravated that they can't catch fish or that it's very hard to catch fish. I have been there. I actually am right there. I'm there right there with you. And I know how it feels. But don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Never give up. No matter what, never give up. In life, in fishing, whatever it is, I'm going to admit, I don't remember how we ended these videos in the past, but I'll see you next time. Well, this is a lot of stuff I see on the internet. Here's what I'm talking about, guys. You ready? Were well, you recording me? I broke my rod! Frick!
I'm pissed right now, dude. That is not cool.